Hi, this is Paul with Addion Systems, the makers of ProShop. Today I'm going to show you a little bit about how we manage cutting tools in ProShop. Let's go take a look at the tool that we have here that we've most recently looked at. So it brings me to my uh, cutting tool page for this end mill. I can see all the parameters that the programmers would need to know what tools they're selecting for their programs. In the middle we have a photo, uh, we have links to any rotating tool assemblies that this tool might be uh, assembled into. At the bottom, you can link in any types of catalogs or reference data about cutting information that the programmers might need access to. For any companies that use Mastercam, we have the ability to export this tool into Mastercam for doing programming. We can see the entire purchase history of this tool from these approved vendors with their various prices and lead times. We can also see how many tools we have in inventory, how many are currently used in the shop in various machines and caddies. We also have the ability to look at future demand of these tools, how many are available, how many are on order, safety stock, suggested order quantities. Let's go take a look at the future demand of this tool. So we're going to look right now at the Turbo Elbow. Let's go look at the entire list of tools that that program is using. So here we are with the entire tool list for operations 50 and 60. You can see some of these are actually tool assemblies. I can see how many are in the shop. Uh, out of holder lengths, type of holders we're using, the quantity of, that we need to order for this job, and currently I see they're all in stock. So now we're going to follow the process from taking the tools out of the tool crib, off the shelf, uh, load up a caddy, and then get it ready to go into a machine. So we click here, load caddy. That brings us to the page where we can do that work. So I've pre-selected for operation 50 for the N37 machine and uh, later on we can also do it for Operation 80, which was a, a five-axis machine that we have on the floor. So we can again see all the places where this tool is currently in use in the shop, but let's load up a caddy here. I'm going to load up caddy number four. Let's clear all the existing things out of caddy four, and here we are. So at this point we can do all of our offline tool presetting. So ProShop will integrate with virtually any offline tool presetter. It can feed the data directly into these cells. I'm just typing it in here for the demo. And assuming we finish off the rest of these, uh, we save these changes. And what this is going to show us, you'll notice we have two red cells. Those are the RTAs, or the rotating tool assemblies. And they're red because the length offset range that's been specified for this assembly is not what was selected by the presetter. And so uh, it's telling us that perhaps this assembly was, was put together wrong and we have a greater chance of a crash. So assuming again we have all of our data filled in, we're going to now take it from the caddy and put it into our machine tool. So again we can clear all existing tools, we could even start with a different pocket number if we wanted to, and as soon as we click go here, that is going to generate a tool offset file specifically formatted for the machine tool that we've chosen and we can upload that into the machine controller and fill in all the tool offsets for this job. So we've shown you how ProShop will manage all your cutting tool inventories in your tool crib, integrate with purchasing, it also integrates with job costing as well, and then we can follow the entire process from taking tools out of the tool crib, putting them into a caddy for storage, and then loading them up into a machine tool without ever having to type a single piece of data, thus reducing the chances of human error and crashing your machine because you have your tools wrong. Well, we hope you've enjoyed what you've seen today. If you'd like more information about ProShop, please reach out to us for more information. Thank you.